Okay, hey everybody. So I'm finally getting to this flower. Um, this flower from Lee Hammond's Big Book of Acrylic Painting, which I use this book, or reference it rather, in my intro to acrylic painting class. So the flower that we're working on today is a flower that Fred brought um, to my attention. I've already outlined some parts of the uh, inside, but um, I'm going to do it differently. I'm not sure I'm going to use all of these paints. Um, we'll see about the brushes. I do have canvas and I have this too. Okay, sorry about that little stain. I think that's coffee. Um, and the, this is in the book. There's also some other people's um, interpretation, although this, although this might be from the author. I'm not sure, but I typically go from dark to light. Um, this book has it a little bit differently. So we're going to see how mine comes out and um, we'll go from there. Now, the first thing is that I'm doing differently is I'm using black canvas. Um, and this is 12 by 16. And this is just because it'll just take up a little less time. Um, you're more than welcome to not use black canvas if you want to use uh, the black paint. But I really like these, these canvas sheets. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to grab my brushes and my paints, and I'll show you all what I'm using. I'm also going to rip one of these sheets off and uh, put it on my drawing board so I can get started. So I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, so what Lee Hammonds has suggested are the following paints, cadmium, red, medium, cadmium, yellow, medium, ivory black, Prussian blue, and titanium white. For brushes, she's got a uh, three-quarter inch 90 or 19 millimeter sable or synthetic filbert, number two sable or synthetic round, and a number two over zero sable or th synthetic round. So I just, I have some brushes on deck here. Uh, filberts and rounds, a couple of brights. And then for my paints, I don't have everything that she had, but I have something. I've got naphthol red light, chromium oxide green dark, which is an open. Um, chromium oxide green. I've got a cadmium deep, cadmium free deep. I've got a diarolide yellow, and I've got titanium white. And we don't need uh, the black because we're using a black canvas sheet. Okay. Okay. So again, this is our initial drawing. I'm not going to use a grid. I'm going to freehand draw this just in the interest of time. Okay. So I've got the book set up here. Hopefully it'll stay. Doesn't look like it though. Um, I've got a piece of palette paper here for my paints. And to do the drawing, I am using a watercolor uh, pencil. The color is lemon cadmium. Yeah, lemon cadmium. So I just did a quick sketch here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because it's watercolor pencil, I'm going to um, I'm going to take a brush. So I did a quick freehand sketch with a watercolor pencil. All I had was a uh, lemon cadmium um, for yellow. Tried to get as close as the close to it as I possibly could. I've got a sheet of palette paper here for my paints. This is the original again. So because this is a watercolor um, pencil, I'm just going to use a, a filbert. It's kind of medium size filbert. These are the brushes that I got from Target. And I'm just going to fill everything in. Okay, I'll be right back. So while we're letting that dry, and I did, like I said, I used um, a little synthetic filbert, but for painting, 
I'm actually going to start out with a bristle brush um, just to get the sketch down. So I'm going to use, um, let's see what we got here. This is a zero round. This one right here. Okay, this one. The zero round um, long handle. And this is a number two, I think a filbert. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Um, so those are the two brushes that I'm going to start out with. Okay, just to get the paint on there. And I'm going to start with my yellows. Um, in the book, Lee Hammond says to start with the flower petals in titanium white with a hint of cadmium yellow. Um, it says to establish the pods in the darkest areas of the flowers, use pure cadmium yellow medium. So I'm going to start with the darkest parts first because that's what I do and that's how I like to paint. Okay, so. Now the thing to remember about yellows is that they tend to be very translucent. So in this instance, you might want to mix a little bit of the white with the yellow just so that you can get something seen up there. So if I, if I kind of go in here with this yellow by itself, I mean, that's not too bad. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too, this is okay. So I'm gonna start with this. And I'm just going to fill in the middle part of the flower. Um, this is kind of tricky because I'm holding the camera and painting at the same time. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I'm just get, getting a general shape that I outlined here. Okay. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here's where we are thus far. And as you can see, I've used mostly yellow. I didn't use any of the white. Okay. I just used the... Diarylide yellow. And it's actually nice coverage. It's not as transparent as some of the other ones. But then again, I am using a black canvas, which... Um, the light obviously from 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 a white gesso isn't peering through, but it'll be a nice sharp contrast once we get everything down. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then um, add some more videos. Okay, so thanks for watching. Talk to you in a little bit.